so much. y'all i have to get my food but what's up everybody it is roche ball you guys and i am here at the mall this morning i had to take care of some business i had to um go to the doctor and get a doctor's note to be cleared for work then i had to go to um can y'all see me do it if i set y'all right here because that's where it's gonna be um i had to go to the doctor to get cleared for work, then I had to get a doctor's note. I went, to, it's time to eat. I went to my job, gave them the doctor's note, and now I'm here. So I just figured, let me go ahead and take y'all on my little field trip. But I didn't want to record me going to the doctor or to my job because, you know, for personal reasons or whatever. And plus, I want to obey all guidelines, whatever the job or doctor and all that. It's, you know, some people just don't like all their stuff on camera and all of that. I'm not brave enough to do that anyway. And even if I was allowed to do it and there was no issue, I probably still wouldn't do it just because I don't want all that on my channel and it's like boring y'all in a waiting room with me at work and y'all at my job with me. It's just, no. Um, <clears throat> so I went to this place called Kobe. It's like a Japan place and they have like a lot of chicken and rice and vegetables. But today I didn't get any vegetables. Well, actually I did. I got mushrooms in my chicken. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just eat over here. I'm buying Ferris wheel and just have a little and just have a little mukbang with you guys hopefully I won't get disturbed with all extra talking but um wait hold on y'all um I got me some chicken I don't know if you guys can see that chicken I don't know if I can see that good enough some chicken with some um mushrooms and some teriyaki sauce and I'm drinking a Sprite and before I leave I'm gonna give me I'm gonna go to squeeze up and give me some juice and then I guess I'll walk around for a bit and then I'll go home. Cause I just wanted to spend this last day off. Just, you know, going on a little field trip. I barely get to vlog. Um, so I wanted to vlog a little bit. So here I am. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm here at the mall. Just chilling, you guys, just chilling. That's all I'm doing. And having me a little lunch. I barely get to actually talk to you guys. I mean, for a while I haven't, but um, I think I was supposed to record this weekend, but I didn't because mm, I probably won't eat all of this because this, even though it's a small bowl, it's still a lot to me, you know, and I'm really trying to work on portions. Okay, that's a lie. No, but seriously, I am. So I may not eat all of this right now, but some pretty strong sprite but um saturday i went through a small little depression stage where i may move i don't like my back turned to a whole bunch of stuff it's, it's making me it's kind of making me, it's stopping me from being aware of my surroundings. You know what I mean? Like, you see all that space back there? Anybody can just sneak up on a nigga and just be like, bop. I don't, you know, because I'm by myself, so. But um, Saturday, I went through a little depressing stage, and I noticed that um, when I went to the doctor, they said they were going to treat me for depression. And at first I got offended by that. I'm like, what? But Saturday I went through a little small depression. And this is not to poke fun about it or treat it like it's not an important thing. I mean, it is very serious if you're going through some kind of depression. Because at the time I was like, I'm not working. I don't know when I'll be able to go back to work. What I got, got to go through so much stuff before I see something good happen. And it was all in that one day. So from the time I woke up, I got up early in the morning. I took a shower, I did my nails, and I went back in the room and just chilled. Fell asleep, watched the creep show, woke up, felt like crying, laid back down, did something to my hair, like I put some more human hair extensions in my hair, 
And I don't know what the F was going on with me Saturday, but that was depression. I didn't want to get out the room. I didn't want to get out of bed. I wanted the whole room to be dark. I didn't want to, like, look at my phone. I, you know, it's a lot that I was going to be stressed out. But sat Sunday, I woke up and I was like, that was depression that I went through. Because I feel like everything, I feel like my life is going backwards, you know. Went from having my own place with my sister, my own full-time job. I had an apartment of my own, even though I shared it with somebody, but I had an apartment that was mine. My name was on the lease, too. You know what I mean? I felt accomplished. And then I had to give all that up to start all over in a place where I'm not really familiar with. I visit plenty of times, but I'm just not familiar with where to go, you know, and I was just stuck. So it was hard to adapt, but I did go through a little depressing stage. So, yeah, because if I'm not working or doing nothing and I'm staying with somebody at somebody else's house, I do feel like it is a stressful, depression, depressing type of thing. I got to stay busy. And the moment I'm not, I get antsy, agitated. I get frustrated. I get very irritable if I'm not staying busy. I got to have something to do, something to do. I don't believe, I don't want to believe in chill time or downtime if I can help it. So, I was definitely depressed on Saturday and a little bit on Sunday, but I actually cried on Sunday because sometimes that's all you can do is have a good cry. And nothing has to be going bad, you know? Just like they say, laughing is a medicine. I think having a good cry is too. And I, I had one of those in the shower. And I had one of those in the room on Sunday, like, because I feel like I don't know where to go from where I am. But I kept thinking, been down long enough, the only way to go is up. And as corny as that may sound, there's some power to those words. Because if you down, where else you going to go? You going to roll over to the side? No, get up. So, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about that and when I was depressed, though. But I was definitely going through some kind of depression on Saturday. Like, that was real. I didn't think I was. I didn't think I ever felt depressed before. But I was depressed on Saturday. And that's very hard to admit because I think I'm always good, you know? I didn't start feeling better until like four or five. But then I still went in the room and was just like, what am I doing with my life? So I've been applying for jobs, even though I have one. But still, you know, I just need something that's, I know it's going to be mine. I'm just scared of being homeless and being on the streets and somebody telling me to get out or nobody ever wanting me. It, it's a lot that I was thinking about on that Saturday that just got me so depressed. I could barely even read the word, the Bible. But right now I'm reading, I have a Bible app and I'm and I'm, I'm on a Bible plan. And at first I read about worrying. Now I'm reading about hope. Next, I need to read about trust. You know how people say trust the process? I think that has a lot to do with waiting on God too. And I don't know why for some reason, I, you know, I get so impatient doing that. I get antsy and want to do my own thing. Y'all, I was going through it Saturday. Saturday, I was definitely going through a depression. I wanted it. I did not want to get up. I buried, I was supposed to do my pedicure too. I said, forget it. I'm not doing it. I didn't want no makeup on. No, I put makeup on. I didn't even have it on for five minutes and I took it all off. All of it. I was definitely going through that depression stage and it's a serious thing. There's really nothing to play with. I'm already getting slightly full. Yep. Well, definitely depressed. So, 
It's amazing how you don't know what you have. Like, you don't know what you could be going through. Like, you yourself. You don't know what you could be going through until you're actually going through it. Because I always told myself, I never want to be depressed. I never want to put any... I never want to do anything to put myself in that position. But you can't control how life happens. You can't control what's being thrown your way and how you can react. On Saturday, I was freaking depressed. I didn't want to leave the room. I barely got up that morning. I took a shower. It was surprising. I did my nails. And I just went in the room and just soaked. I don't... I feel like giving up. I said, forget this. All is lost right now. And there's nowhere to go from here. I'm stuck. And I kept telling myself that in my mind and out loud. And... So... She was real. Real. Y'all, this wasn't the vlog that I thought it was gonna be. I just had a little mukbang in the first clip. I did a little mukbang while I was talking to y'all, and then I just drunk this. I did stop by two stores. It's a store called 369. I'll do a little haul with that. And then I went to Hot Topic. I'm gonna do a little haul with that. And I think kids are starting to get a little restless. They need to be in school. So I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of, after I drink most of this, I'm going to go ahead and head home because, yeah. I'm so happy to be going back to work tomorrow, y'all. I have no idea. I don't even know what to do with myself. But I can't wait to go home and prepare for work tomorrow and just get back into the flow of things. You know, hopefully they hire me permanently because... I just, I just want to be busy. I have to be busy. You know, so I like, I like the way my hair turned out. If you guys saw my video yesterday when I did my little bohemian braids um, look or whatever, check out that video. It's my first time ever doing this hairdo. And I like the way it turned out for my first time. You'd be surprised how good things look on your first try of doing things, you know? Um, I should have got me a hairband because I just want to do a weird style like this. But I want to show you guys a few things that I did pick up from Hot Topic and from a store called 369. I mean 365, excuse me. When I get home, I'm going to have to really study and really plan out how I want to do a vlog. Because I thought I wanted this to be a vlog. Like I wanted to take you guys to the doctors with me and then to my job and then to the mall. But, you know, with the whole job and doctor situation, in case certain things are said, I don't want to record all that. And plus, I know better ugh, than to ever record anything on my social media platforms about my job. I don't want to do that. So I feel like both of those things are confidential. So I will not be recording anything that has to do with my job. I will not be doing anything with the doctor or nothing like that. So I can tell y'all I went there. I can say, well, hey, I went to the doctor today, which I did. And I went to my job today, which I did. And now I'm at the mall. So I could do a little bit better with my vlogging skills because it's not quite there yet. But, um, well, that's a cute romper. I gotta show y'all some things that I got. So, really cute things. Anyway, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. And um, actually, you know what? I'm going to end this video with a little haul. It's showing you guys the things that I picked up from Hot Topic in 365. And then I'm going to end the video. Right now, I want to concentrate on getting home. So I can get up out this heat before it really starts getting hot. Because summer ain't planned. Summer is about to, summer is about to get us. Summer is about to get us. And you know what? I'm right here. Summer is my favorite. I was born in the spring. But summer is my favorite season. But I want to go ahead and um, get home. I got some stuff to take care of. So I will see you guys when I'm there. Everybody, um, let me turn this fan off real quick. Hold on. It'll be a little less noisy. Okay, I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from Hot Topic, which will be up here. And some of the stuff that I got from the store called 365 at the mall. So first things first, let me show you what I got from Hot Topic. Um, I bought two of these earrings and i got one for free but i'm not sure which two i bought 
But um, the reason why I got these earrings because I like the inconsistency of them. Let me lift it up so you can see. Um, they don't match at all. So if I put these two on, they're not going to match. One is going to be longer than the other one. And I think that's why I bought it. And that's why I like it because I love the inconsistency of how it don't match. All three of these earring packs that I bought don't match. And that's what I like about it. I think the safety pin on this one really caught my eye. As well as all these chains and the locket and, you know, the cross, everything. The um, As you can see, well, that's too close. You can see the, um, I think this one is just a silver looking rose. And this one is a, a red one. You can see a little brooch looking black earring right there. Let me see. Yeah, that's the earring. So, yes. I like the inconsistency of all these earrings. That's why I got them. Same thing with this one. I think the black teddy bear is cute. See, look at that. I'm too close. Um, that's why I like to set it down. But I want you guys to see the... Look at the earrings. Look. The safety pin is what really caught my eye with this one. As well as the black teddy bear. And look at how thin the ho hoops look, part look. It's like... I'm so attracted to stuff like this because... I like how going to Hot Topics and seeing how, what they got, you know, they have some of the best eyeliner and jewelry, but this one right here, this chocolate that somebody bit off of, that right there took the cake too, as well as, you see, if I wear any of these earrings, look, the inconsistency, look, the chocolate, the bottle of chocolate milk, these earrings up here, the bottle, like little cartons of chocolate milk, ice cream, I think that's a cat or something or other. A little heart diamond thingy. Some more um, earrings. And I noticed that this one right here and this one are alike. But when it's time for me to wear them, it's still going to be Mitch Match. I think that chocolate bar right there that somebody bit off of, that really. And that's another carton of chocolate milk right there next to this chain. Look how beautiful and inconsistent these earrings look. The stars, the ice cream cone. I love it all. So when I wear these... I have to keep in mind that they're not going to match, but that's okay. That's the beauty of it all. You know, that's expressing my style through my accessories, and I love it. Now, let's move over to this store that I went to called 365. Oh, I went to our topic. 365, okay? And when I went in there, I took a little basket, and I got this polish, and it's giving me like a little, it's from Nabby Colors, and it's like a highlighter type of yellowish green polish that I like. I got some more bracelets. Okay, some silver bracelets. They had gold, but mm -mm. I wanted some silver ones. I got some black hoops in four different sizes. Everything like this, these, these hoop earrings, this polish, and this, as well as these earrings were all like 115 So, yeah, I got the hoops in four different sizes. I also have this because in the summertime, I'm going to be wearing my pale. It's like a pale pink dress that I have. I think these would be really good with it. And I have some um, flip-flops to go with it as well. So I did buy another darker kind like this. It was more like a darker gold with red in it. But I decided not to get that because the lady was telling me that was $6.99. And these were um, $1.15. So, yes. So when I take it out the package, it's going to really be bomb. Especially when I try it on. And it goes all the way around. It looks the same way on both sides. So that's pretty consistent and I like it. And it's different. I don't have earrings like this. Look at that design. Whoa. Like somebody just put a bunch of glue on a hoop and then just rolled, rolled the whole earring in sparkles. That's what it looks like. And I'm attracted to stuff like that. And almost second to the last thing, I bought this necklace right here, which reminds me of a dog tag. What attracted me about it the most is <laughs> that it says Gemini. Because I'm a Gemini. And these beads right here. So it almost gives it a dog tag look, but it's prettier than a dog tag because it says Gemini. So, yeah, and I'm going to wear this with a nice long dress or I, I have an olive green jumpsuit that will go good with it. Plus this kind of gold right here, almost like a copper type penny gold will go really good with that outfit. So I think I might wear that probably on my first date. And I don't know. It's getting hot, so I may wear that on my first date and just find some real cute sandals to go with it. And these glasses I bought for $6.99. I think that's the only thing that I bought from that place for $6.99. And these guys, you know, I have a glasses collection. I love shades. And I like hoodies. I'm starting to get into more of a hoodie phase. I need to wash these glasses and wipe them off and sanitize them before I put them on. Because I don't know who all been putting on these glasses. But anyway, so, um, 
yeah, I just wanted to show you guys everything I bought. From the store 369, I spent about almost $14 on all that stuff. And from the Hot Topic store, I almost spent like $23. No, I spent $23.71 because look how beautiful. I can't wait to wear these, y'all. Excuse me. Thank you. I cannot wait to wear these. And look at the safety pin. That's what's really attracting me about this whole thing the most, y'all. Is I love Hot Topic for their jewelry, for their polishes, for some of these shirts. You know, and it's just like I really want to just take my time and just spend, like, spend a whole day. Not a whole day, but just really take my time. Like, spend a good two hours in Hot Topic. I never know what I may find. And if I didn't look, I would have never. I, I actually went in Hot Topic with the sole purpose of buying their eyeliner. And then I was supposed to walk out. I was going to probably buy two or three pencils of eyeliner and walk out. But I saw this. I'm thinking, I want this. I don't really get jewelry too much from Hot Topic. I did buy some lip rings there once. But um, that's it. Look at that chocolate that somebody bit off of. Ain't that pretty? I keep saying that because I love it. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. Especially this one. With that safety pin on it. And that black teddy bear. All right, you guys, that has been my little short haul of everything that I've gotten from the store, 365. And wait, <clears throat> I got to fix this. It's important. Gemini is important. So, and that's all the stuff that I got from the store, Hot Topics and 369. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. And um, see you on the next one. Bye.